Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Oakley here from WeddingPhotographyGig.com and this is the Professional Wedding Photography website tutorial and we are on step number six which is super exciting. We're getting really really close to finishing off our website. Um, so today's uh, or the steps uh, video is going to be about uh, cleaning up our home page, making our home page look like we want it to if you remember where uh, our goal is to make our uh, site look like this one and uh, with it on the home page we've got our links on the top you've got our customized banner on the bottom and we've got a nice slideshow here in the middle so if we go back to our uh, site and I look at uh, this is the uh, owners view if I go to visitors view you'll see our home page uh, it doesn't have the slideshow but it has this gallery uh, this gallery um, um, sort of screen or whatever you want to call it there. <laughs> so if we go back to owner's view, I'm not too sure what to call that thing. And so what we want to do is first things first, things first we want to hide this uh, gallery box here. So I'm going to go and uh, you see above the box when we're, uh, when we're logged in and when we're in our owner's view we can see organize we can move it up yoink and uh, or we can move it down yoink or we can hide it, which is what I want to do. So I want to go ahead and hide it. Disappears. And uh, my bio here, I want to hide that too. Disappears. So now if I go into my visitor view, uh-oh, there's nothing there, but that's okay. <clears throat> in our options here on the top, we've got, um, when we're in the owner's view, we've got this homepage layout. And there's a few options in here. That's where you can put your bio on and your featured galleries and top keywords and all sorts of stuff like that we want to hit this slideshow button and it's going to bring the slideshow here now there's no slideshow because we haven't set the slideshow settings so you can go ahead and, and adjust those slideshow settings going here so source so by default it's got most popular photos and we want to use a particular gallery and we want to use our portfolio gallery so that makes things really simple so our portfolio gallery that you can link to here is also going to be the images that we use in our slideshow. Click to image. These options are all, most of these are just whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say, yeah, click to image. Let somebody, um, if they see a photo they like, let them go look at it um, in, the, in the portfolio gallery. Captions, nope. Show thumbnails, no. Auto start, yes. Speed. I think medium's okay. I might end up going with fast. Actually, I'm going to go fast because I think I definitely, yeah, I'm going to go fast. Show speed, no. Page style. I think this is fine. It says black, but I don't see any black here. If, if, if something's wrong, I'll come in and change it. That's a nice thing about this is you can just try different things and um, go with what you like. Show buttons, no. Random start. I am going to do a random start. And I am going to randomize it. Just the main reason is because in my gallery the photos are um, uh, right now they're in order by the gallery that I added them to. Or you know, if I took four from a, a certain client gallery, then they show up all four in a row. And I don't I don't really want to have that as it as it displays. And I might even end up changing that in the portfolio gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and randomize this. Splash URL. That's the um, you can choose an image that'll show up just by default when the when the um, when the browser comes on and I might end up setting something like that later or you can but I'm gonna leave it blank for now splash delay is zero cross fade speed so as the photos transition this is the fading speed so I'm gonna leave that all as it is and when I save my settings there's my gallery so if I go click into visitor view our slideshow loads up and it's got random photos on it. So see, I'm, I think I have it set on fast and it doesn't seem all that fast to me. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I don't think that's too bad. And then if somebody wants to see a certain image, so say they like that one, they can click on the image and it takes them right to the, that image in the gallery. And obviously that's in our portfolio gallery. So that's kind of cool. And actually, if you wanna go one step further in there, when the portfolio, because these are, virtual images taken from a different gallery uh, if they come into here they can actually see this uh, see photo in original original gallery option and if they click that 
and provided there's no password on the um, the gallery they can get in and now they can see all the photos from for this particular client so that's kind of cool how we've set that all up to be automated we didn't have to upload a whole bunch of different uh, galleries and and uh, duplicate photos to make all of this work we're just um, we're just we just uploaded some galleries and we're just using those to fill out our site so I think that's kind of cool all right so I think that is it this is a short uh, this one was a short step didn't take much to get this uh, home page and the slideshow going so I think we've got a couple more steps if I've got it all laid out correctly and I think the next step we're going to be creating this page here uh, called work with me which is a very important page uh, so we're gonna have some text here and some photos about about me and on your site it'll be a photo of you and some some information about you uh, some information that your uh, visitors will want which is what services you provide and uh, how much they cost or whatever you want to write in there and then another key important part is uh, having some testi testimonials from happy customers and uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do so there you go and uh, we'll see you in the next step